Gore Mountain. Hey everybody, today I have a pretty fantastic video for you. We're going up to Gore Mountain, New York. We're going to be skiing from 8.30 to 2. And then we're going to go a little further north. Actually make it to the left of the tower. And we're going to go a little further up. And we're going to see the full eclipse. I got all the cameras out. On our way up the to angles. Gore. You're going to like this. It's Albany, what's up? 100,000 miles, lonely trail. After waking up at 3, I ended up leaving by 4 a.m. At this point in the trip, I'm about two and a half hours in. Finally, after that drive, I was able to find the snow. Being that it was April, we don't have any in the Woo! We are up there! Six minutes away! Oh man, just over half a tank. Ah, Gore, here we come! Woo! Ready. We made it, yo! That sun was really bright when I pulled up. The sun is listening to that. What's up? Oh. One of the first lifts up. Chill. Be a good day. See people already doing laps. Alright, we were gonna start our day off with the green, but we're gonna start it off with the black on Fairview. by looking up at the sky, I think we both could tell just how crazy the air looked up there. It's almost as if the sun knew there was supposed to be an eclipse today. I went to Gore specifically for the groomers and whatever woods trails they had available. They didn't have much woods, but let me tell you, that first hour was very fast. I hope you get to ride perfect corduroy like this one day. Double barrel. Straight foot, straight grip blades. Now that one's so my camera started recording here and didn't get me falling. That's crazy. I say skiing on an eclipse day is crazy. At this point I started lapping the same people. This is super sticky, right? Hi again. Hi again. <laughs> Last <of the> bus? <laughs> yeah. Happy trails. The sun is crazy bright today. Definitely a sunscreen kind of day. Something about those white capped mountains in the distance just fascinated me. I guess that's territory for a future video. You can see with the sun so bright, the snow didn't stand a chance and everything became slush as the day progressed. But that didn't matter, because really, we were here for an eclipse. The skiing was just an added bonus. Mama told me to leave on my magic glasses. Oh, 
as the day rolled on, conditions went from soft to extremely soft and very slow. I started to bring it to an end around 2 o'clock. I brought it into the base and headed out towards the spot where I could see the total eclipse. be able to see through the telescope. If it doesn't get any worse, we'll be able to see the surface of the moon or the moon traveling, you know, it's watching the solar system mechanics in real time. You can see the moon literally moving across the face of the sun, which is, again, just an amazing thing to see. And that if we if we do get some clarity, then you would be able to see the, the you know, again, the, the solar flares coming off the corona, which is amazing. But I don't know if we're going to get that. <laughs> We shall see. Yeah. Okay. Traveling north, folks. Sorry, Shrek song. We are traveling north. Let's get it. We got time. Time to spare. We'll get there before three. We'll enjoy this. Let's watch this once in a lifetime event. Look how crazy this guy. That's two thirty-three. Hundreds of people on the side of the road. To witness an eclipse like that in all of its totality was truly a special experience. And of course, in pure fashion, the first vehicle on the road was a UPS truck. First one ever was epic. Point that out. Um, sky looks wild. Let's figure out how to get home now. After one epic ski day at Gore for the first time and one epic eclipse day in totality, I started my four hour journey back home. I mean, the sun is almost behind full cloud coverage right now. Very odd, but it's awesome. 
awesome that today was so clear. It was such a blue day. Decent conditions, pretty slow though. If you liked what you see, please like and subscribe. I'll have plenty of content like this and more as I'm developing this channel. Thank you and happy trails.